Hi guys, this is Kelly through and 407 and this is going to be my video regarding my contest entry for Ninja Cupcake Clay. So first off, I want to say thank you guys for so many nice, super duper nice comments and your support. And I want to say thank you f to Ninja Cupcake Clay for hosting the contest. It was super nice of her and she is just awesome and I had so much fun making figurines and clay things for her contest. So first off, I want to say that, well second off, I want to say that I've been getting some comments saying lately saying that I store bought this Winnie the Pooh jar figurine and I want to say that I made this by hand and that this was no not store bought and I understand why people are saying that it's because of like the barcode inside so as you can probably see that there is a barcode inside this and inside my contest entry and I want to say that this is from the fruit cup inside so I can show you guys that so for the fruit cup I have the exact same fruit cup that I used and it is the exact same code just not backwards so if I flipped it like this it is exactly the same same code as the one in here and I and like I can say that how like I want to lead you guys through the process of how I made my jar so I cut two of the fruit cups to like similar lengths well this one didn't really turn out really nice because it was my first attempt and it really failed but by placing two of these fruit cups together, I used TLS and then I baked it. After it was baked, I cut it them cut like the seam down and cut them into like as you can see like you can't really tell. Like you can't really see like the hinge and stuff. And then I wrapped what pearl white clay around it and cut out the facial like the facial expressions and I added ears. That look like pumpkins and then I added the sides of these like the markings so then yeah and then I baked it and added like coloring to it this is um from chalk pastels it's the orange here so after I was done I made a dome of clay like a really thick circle dome and I put it on top of here and squished it until it was like more flat and a little bit was showing up inside so it wouldn't just like fall out and that it had the markings of the ear so it would fit perfectly instead of falling out and then I added the stem and the vines so then I could for, first of all I want to say that manufacturers would have made this more perfect and wouldn't have made the mistakes that I ha would have made like they would have made the base more perpendicular and flat and perfectly smooth and yeah but I like this how it turned out because it looks more realistic and for the base it's also like covered in my hand prints and it is not perfect these leaves are 100% made by me they all have different patterns and like as I've said, um, manufacturers wouldn't have made what I've, like, the mistakes that I would have made. They would have made this more neat and, de like, more, I don't know, but, like, prettier, I guess. But, and then after the base is, like, a major, like, default for me because I need to learn how to smooth my bases because they're covered in my fingerprints, different types of clay, and, yeah. This is, has, like, holes and stuff, which, like, a company or, like, other person wouldn't have done. And, so, yeah. So, next I want to say that this was, um, this was inspired by this vid like, this image I saw on Google. It's this Mickey Mouse pumpkin, but I changed it into a Winnie the Pooh one because of the color. It doesn't really look like a Mickey Mouse. It reminds me more of a Winnie the Pooh one. So, yeah. So I hope I've cleared up all of, like, the confusion, and I hope that you guys, like, some people will stop commenting on my video saying that I store-bought this. So, yeah. 
But on the other note, I want to say that I want to add more videos on my channel soon and that I am going to try and make a Winnie the Pooh in the bathtub tutorial. You can probably see that in my other videos such as my charm update or my Franny XO contest entry. So, yeah. So if you guys have any suggestions on like what videos to make, either it's like on my tools or um, like another charm update video, please leave that in the comments below and see you next time.